If you've ever tried to schedule a meeting with anyone, you know the frustration of the up and down. Are you available on this day, this time? No, how about this day? How about that time? Uh, it gets very irritating. I'm going to show you a trick in Outlook that will make that thing disappear. This and other Outlook tips on this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Liron Segev and every Tuesday I share with you tips and tricks and how-tos making you more productive, more efficient, and getting more out of your systems. If this sounds like something that you're into, smash that subscribe button right here, and let's get on to this week's episode. So what do you do when you want to send out a mass email, but you don't want to have to deal with each individual reply, like an RSVP, for example? What you can do is send your email, but before you press send, click on options, and then click on this option, direct replies to. And this time, put another email address in there. Now it could be a somebody in the office, it could be a Gmail address that you set up temporarily, and all replies will just arrive there. Now Outlook also gives you the ability to delay your sending. So you can create everything now, send it, but only get it to deliver at a certain date and time. Click on options, and click on delay delivery. Now you can set the date and the time of any time in the future when you'd like your mail to actually be sent. The mail will just sit in your outbox waiting for that time and then be sent. Now we all know the feature that when you start typing an email, if you've recently sent that person an email, the email address will simply start populating. But what happens if that person isn't in your recently sent email list? Well, you press Ctrl K and then Outlook simply looks for your contact with the same name inside your address book. If you use certain functions again and again and again, add them to your quick access toolbar. Click this little point down menu and select some of the default ones which are available. Now if you need some more, click on more commands and you get a whole bunch more to choose from. Now simply select the command that you'd like, click on add and it will now be attached to your quick access toolbar regardless of which screen you happen to be in. If you've ever tried to schedule a meeting with someone, you know the difficulty of going back and forth and back and forth trying to pick a time that works for everyone. Well, in Outlook, you can create a new email, click on Insert and click Calendar. Now select the date range and once you've done that, you can select how much details you want to share with the other person. Only free busy time, a little bit of information, or reveal exactly what your schedule is looking like. Now, I normally select limited information, just the free busy time, and click OK. Now, what that does is that it puts your calendar inside your email. So the person is very easily able to see your schedule, nothing confidential, but they can see when you're free versus when you're busy and making setting up an appointment an absolute pleasure. Right, searching your mailbox can actually be a pain, but if you use these tools, it actually becomes quite a pleasure. So we all know that you can click on this option and simply type what you'd like to search for and it will start searching your current folder. But now you can actually add additional functions so it makes the searching even more intelligent. Click on more and then add any of these fields that you'd like to search. A really cool one to add is something called attachment contains. So if you'd like to look for something in an attachment, you can actually do that without having to open up all the attachments yourself. So that's great for once-off searches. But if you do searches repeatedly, go to the search folder, click on new, and here you can set up some rules that allow you to create repeated searches for things that you do on a regular basis. So this concludes another Tech Tip Tuesday. Hopefully you've picked up some tips and tricks that you could use. Feel free to share this video by clicking the share button down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Cheers for now.